I like going hiking, but I don't like leaving home. Right, Mama? So anyway, off to the airport. 2016 AT hike. And I will see you a little later, huh? Hey, it's Turk. And Blister. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you just saw the whole room we're in at the NOC. I'll give you the what we felt like when we came in. So, we're in Sali 3. And you come in and Todd was like, geez, I wonder if there's a bathroom in there. But, this is about the length of the room. So, we are here. It's probably almost 10 o'clock. We're going to get in, hit the sack pretty soon. And, it's not bad actually for the cost. There's some uh, bunks here. You got to use your own sleeping bag or whatever. But, uh, we'll be off in the morning. So, day one travel, so far successful. Hey, good morning. It's uh, the beginning, beginning of day one, and it's uh, October 23rd, 2016, probably about 6.30 a.m. I just wanted to show you the... Uh, kitchen area at the NOC um, you come in and there's this big this big dining room area which is kind of nice and then if you go in the back there's actually a refrigerator and stove and some things to be able to cook some food which is nice if you've been out hiking for a while it's not, uh, it actually it's cleaner than you would imagine. So we've got some hot water ready to go there for us as a microwave. Um, two microwaves, toaster. Yeah, so if you were to have some food you needed to prepare that was not necessarily trail food, this would be a good spot to be able to prepare it. But, uh, let's see, I didn't sleep so well last night. It's expected. The, uh, the accommodations, the beds are fine for, for the price just a big pad kind of like what they give you in prison <laughs> but um, so we're gonna just eat breakfast it's still dark out and we'll probably get moving here probably within the hour uh, and we'll be starting our, our way north all right see you later here we are here's the sign Trail North. So, Turk and Worcester starting our 2016 AT hike from the NOC, which is back here. And we're hoping, if we're lucky, to get to Davenport Gap to the Smokies. So, ready, Todd? Uh, blister. You just crossed the, the threshold, now you're blistered. <laughs> <laughs> so today we have about, I'm thinking 4,000 foot of climbing over 10 miles. So, fun, fun, fun. But uh, the, the woods are pretty. And I'll film some more when we get a little higher up. All right. Hey, good morning. It's What time is it? 925. You can almost see the steam coming off my back. We've been climbing now for almost an hour. Um, but I wanted to show you, we had a little break here. I want to show you, I don't know if you can see through there, but there is fog down in the valley I'm, uh, at the bottom of the mountains. I thought that was kind of neat looking. How are you making it so far, Blister? Hanging in there. Got a good lather going. Good lather. Yeah. yeah, we just ended up climbing up this nice edge and I mean, I, I don't know how many feet we've, I don't think we've gone a thousand feet up yet, but uh, you can see out there, there's a lot of hill left to go, but we're working on it. Alrighty, talk to you later. I think we're at the place that you can see down into the gorge.
Hey, it's just after two o'clock and we are at, I think this is called Sassafras Gap Shelter. Uh, it's a nice shelter, you can see it's got uh, double deck beds, nice little porch here, so if you sit on the lower deck you can put your feet right here and not have to be on the ground. A couple nice bench seats for cooking and preparing your food. You can see these things are where sometimes people hang their food, they'll hang them up on on these things here and they uh, keeps the mice, the bottles keep the mice from being able to jump down onto your food bag and chewing through it. So we've got uh, Todd down here. I'll tell you the water situation is not very good. So right now down here I've got Todd we uh, basically are siphoning out of, not siphoning, but we're using a cup and uh, pulling water out of this puddle, which is actually a seep from the stream. Not really a stream, but a spring. And uh, I've never seen it. I mean, I've only been to down here three times. This is my third time, but <clears throat> I've never seen it so dry where we've had to worry about our water. But, as you can see over here, this is, uh, that's what we're basically putting a cup in to try to siphon water out of. And it's slowly seeping into the puddle from right there, from up the hill. Now, it just rained the other day. I don't think this, uh, I don't think this spring at this point was even open. So I don't even think this, uh, Spring was probably even wet before the rain from the other day, but uh, I'm sure they're going to be drying up slowly as we move our way down the trail. All right, we're going to go over Chioa Bald next. Uh, it's a 600-foot climb and 1.2 miles from here, and then from there I think we got another uh, couple miles down to the. We're going to try to find a camp spot, so we're hoping there's going to be water there. We've seen one dry spring already. So, here's the sign. Chioa Ball. Um, yeah. I like, see this all the time in people's videos. Those logs sitting here. The fire. I don't know if you can see out there, but... Man, man, man. ribbons and ribbons of mountains. How'd you like that climb? Oh, this stump never felt better. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, made it. Ooh. At least to here. A couple more miles to the shelter, but we're going to enjoy the view for a minute. What are you doing over there? <laughs> How many tries? Oh gosh. I got it right here. Oh! He's trying to get All it. Alright, for the day we started right here at the NOC. Went all the way over Grassy Gap. Up Swim Bald. Past Sassafras Gap Shelter, over Chioa Bald, and then went back down to Locust Gap. And as you can see from the map here, this is 2,000 feet. Chioa Bald's up here at 5,000 feet. So we climbed all that way, and then back down to Locust Gap.